Good evening, once again, people of the internet. My name is Mr. Smack Hennigan, and tonight I'm going to be showing you the last part of the Cave Story Plus Let's Play, in which I finally managed to defeat the Nemesis Challenge. Uh, unfortunately, this is a post production uh, recording because after about 50 to 60 retries uh, const of near constant failures, you know, either. You get the idea. I kind of ran out of commentary and started swearing a lot. It's not a pretty sight. It's not a pretty thing to hear either. But yeah, you get you get the idea. Um, it, this challenge was a pretty fun, pretty fun thing to do because you got you got to know about damage control. Um, well, damage control. Uh, you got to know how, which which things to let you hit to let hit you if you uh, level up. Oh, and uh, you nearly die here. If you if you level up, you, your gun of course loses power instead of increases in power because it's a very strange thing. Um, at level one, it's blue, blue and yellow thunderbolts. Level two, it's a green thing, a green lightning shot, and with level three, it's a little ducky. This week, but um, very very annoying. You have you have to know which enemies do the least damage, and oh here, okay, this is one of the more annoying bits because you can you can mix up the little fuzz balls for the um, what what you call them the cotton for the cotton balls that the uh, enemies throw. Uh, well, the cat cat ghosts throw. And the fuzz balls do one damage. The cat, the cat balls do five. You do the math. Now uh, there, I kind of got tired and just started uh, experimenting to find out. Oh, I can jump from here. Pretty sure it's a key to getting a new, uh, better time. But I'm not sure if this level has achievements for uh, doing the search. I'll probably find them all the uh, search for achievements. That makes sense. Here. If you if you try this challenge for yourself, you will gain a new level of hatred for those le yellow hopping things because they do four damage. They have a weird uh, movement pattern. For the best to They're predictable, but they're still really annoying. And of course, the sand. This the second part is really easy compared to the first and the third. The third part has the vents. The vents. Oh, you do not know how often I got to this part and failed. Also, it's something weird to note here. If you if you're paying attention to that little uh, power icon that just sort of power icon that sort of floated behind the health bar, you notice it sort of disappeared as well. Um, something about that area, part of the map it just doesn't seem to want to let items exist. Here, I started panicking sorts and then went into full concentration mode because I was not dying here again. No, no, sorry, gym bomb. Very, very annoying. Um, I didn't even care about getting a level because I can work with the level two pistol at the very least. Um, if you're looking to take some light damage without having to walk in, well, if you're looking for light damage, you just walk, run into the Buyo Buyo base thing. Buyo base, how do you say it? Because they only deal one damage. The base themselves, the, the Buyo Buyos, they shoot out. They do three damage. They still painful in comparison. The fire wheels, you can't even touch them because they. They do 10 damage and basically it's death compared to as well as the rest of the spikes and such. The firewheels, they only do 5 damage, but you don't want to get in their way anyway. That bit's always annoying because I'm worried I'm going to panic. Sort of like that, I tried to jump and I remembered, oh, I've got to, uh, I've got to kill the cat first. Anyway, there's, this bit's always annoying as well because there's a Buyo base there and you almost always either level up or take damage. And if you're there with three hit points, I usually tank, I usually think, oh fuck, I'm never getting through this. But that time I didn't even take damage. It's amazing. This one's even more annoying though, because you've got three plat three block wide platforms, two of which come in spikes, and one of those, one of which is a uh, skull platform. So you know you got the stupid little uh, crocs trying to kill you. Oh bloody hell! Um, but then I do the fabled thing for speedrunners: take damage to save time. Oh yes. I couldn't bear trying to float through me. I did it once, but I thought never again, and I just remembered those those first balls only do one damage. I messed up there, but I just, well, I sort of messed up, but it worked. But yeah, this bit's even more annoying because those air, those events push you around all over the place is very confusing. This was even more annoying. I kept trying to bring a fuzzball with me so I could like get through easier, but after a while I kind of gave up. Um, there I panicked because I could see the clock and. Oh man, I finished the level! I just did a jig. You get no achievements. Or oh, I didn't get an achievement. But anyway, as for 
what I'm going to do after this with flat space and such, I'm not entirely sure. I don't know what I would want to do, what I would be able to do, but I would have to wait a, wait a while to see what I could do. Um, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed watching this. Oh, there's the cursor. I hope you've enjoyed watching this let's play as much as I have enjoyed watching while well, making it. Right up to the nemesis. Hope you've enjoyed.